Today we're going to be doing a full body HIIT workout only using bands. So I'm going to be using these Undersun Fitness bands. They come in about five different sizes from super heavy to super light. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use these bands at home. If you're interested in ordering these specifically, I have a code below. Otherwise, we're gonna do a full body 30 minute hit only using bands. This is perfect for at home and I love taking bands anytime I travel as well. So let's get it here. So what we're gonna do, I just have my timer here, but we're gonna grab, I'm gonna use the lightest band because I want more range of motion, but you can try out maybe the little bit thicker band and kind of see what works for you. So I'm just gonna tie it right around. Now you could do this tied around a couch, a chair, anything that has some weight to it so that it's not moving around. So I'm gonna put the band right around my heel and I'm going to stand with my standing legs, slight bend in the knees, hinging from the hips here, and I'm gonna kick back and bring it in. Out and squeeze and bring it in. Good, so as you can see, this takes a lot of core balance as well. Drive through the heel, squeeze when you bring it back. And then slowly bring it in, good. Squeeze. 10 seconds, every time you extend that leg back, see if you can lift an inch higher. One more, good, a little 10 second rest. We're gonna switch legs. So just placing that band around your opposite leg. Here we go, starting now. Woo. I told you guys, sometimes there's gonna be, sometimes even the trainer has little casualties. Squeeze, good. Extend, drive through that heel. Slow and controlled. See if you can lift that heel up an inch higher each time. Good. Again, your abs are tight. You're looking down and forward. No strain on the neck. One more. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna get into kneeling thrust. So I'm gonna grab the heaviest band right here and I'm gonna tie this band around. We're gonna come down and bring that band right around our hips and then you're gonna walk forward so that you have tension. You're gonna sit back, squeeze at the top. Sit back, squeeze. You have the option here to hold a weight at your hips and add even more you know, tension and weight to this move. Back, squeeze. Now, when you squeeze, I want you to really thrust forward and pause and squeeze those glutes. Your abs are tight. Two more here. Two and one. Good job. Slowly coming out. And then I'm going to grab my second two heaviest here. I'm going to step in just like this. And then I'm going to bring it around my neck. So my feet are hip width apart. Here we go. I'm going to lower, squeeze at the top. Hinge from the hips, squeeze. Hinging, see, feeling that pull in my hamstrings, squeeze at the top. You can use the heaviest one for this if you want some more resistance. You can go a little lighter if you need a little less. You can also widen your feet and that's gonna cause more tension too. 10 seconds here, squeeze, good. Nice flat back, two more, two and one. Good. 
good job. Slowly come out, and we're gonna start from the top, starting with the kickbacks. Here we go. Second round through, starting now. Squeeze. Trying this round to feel that squeeze in your glute a little bit more. Drive it good. Pause at the top of each movement. Squeeze good. Ten seconds, you got it. One more, and squeeze. Perfect, 10 second rest. Let's get into the other side. Two, and one. Lift and squeeze, bring it in. Rise it up, good. Press into that heel. Good, you got it. Perfect. Ten seconds. Can you lift an inch higher? One more. Perfect. All right, coming down onto the floor. Good. Remember with all of these moves, it's all about just creating that tension. So you might need to move further away. If you want it to be easier, move in a little closer. But you want to make sure that you're challenging yourself here. 30 seconds. Squeeze, good. You should feel that squeeze of the glutes at the top. Good. So hovering, almost dropping your butt down to the floor and then squeezing up at the top. 10 seconds, my booty is burning. Two and one, good job. Slowly come out, grab that other band. Here we go. Feet are as wide, maybe a little bit wider than your hips. Nice and strong. Hinge, good. Squeeze. Perfect, you got it. Nice and strong. Fifteen seconds, keep it going. Good. Two more. Two and one, good job. Slowly come out. All right, guys, we have one more round through, starting with the kickbacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze. Press through that heel. Notice if you squeeze your glute at the top. Perfect. Just like that. 10 seconds right here. Good job. Woo, nice 
nice deep breath. Let's go into the other side. on each leg. So stay strong. As you can see, I have way more control this third time through because my glutes and core are more activated. I'm able to maintain a better balance here. 10 seconds. Good, one more, perfect. All right, here we go, the rest. Squeeze. Good, you guys got it. Strong squeeze at the top. Notice how I have I keep that control. I'm going slow and controlled right here. Good. Twenty seconds. Feel that pull of the hamstring. Squeeze and thrust at the top. 10 seconds here. One more. Perfect. All right. We're going into circuit two. So grab a sip of water. We have one minute rest here. All right. So I wrote my workout all out so I don't forget anything. All right. This next round, we're going to use the light band again. I'm still just keeping it tied right exactly in the same place. We're going to start with abs. So you're going to walk your feet through here and then you're going to come forward into a plank position and you want to make sure you have tension on that band. All right, we have 20 more seconds of rest right here. So making sure that you're Maintaining that tension on that band. Shoulders are down and back. We're gonna come into a strong plank. And you're gonna bring the knee to the elbow back into that plank, reset. Knee to elbow, pause, back into the plank. Your shoulders are down and back. So I'm pressing against the tension of the band to bring my knee to the elbow. So if you're not feeling tension, you need to walk up into that plank a little bit more. Good. Shoulders are down and back. We're working those obliques when we bring that knee up. Breathe. Good. It's a super hot day today. Something extra sweaty. One more. 
Perfect. All right, we're gonna get into kneeling triceps. So I'm gonna slowly walk back, take my feet out. All right, on the tops of my knees right here. Elbows are stacked right on top of my shoulders and I'm gonna extend and then bring it back. Squeeze. Lift, good. Perfect. So make sure here that again, you're far enough that you have that tension on the band. And you squeeze, your elbows don't start to come out. Your elbows stay pointing forward, stacked right on top of the shoulders. Squeeze, good. One more. Perfect. All right, we're gonna flip around here. Now, we're gonna do an up, a sit, a V sit here. And what we're gonna do is squeeze, bring it into an upright row, and then lift. Squeeze, pull the shoulders down and back away from the ears, and then lift. Now you're leaning back enough so that you have you're engaging the abs the whole time. Good. Squeeze. And reach. Perfect. Pause with every rep. Reach and pause. Perfect. All right, we're going to get into a V sit hold with a shoulder press. So, keeping the band right where it is, that same position, you're going to roll the shoulders down and back, and then you're going to lift your legs so they're over the band, and you're going to reach. I'm going to scoot a little closer. You want enough tension, but you also don't want to be like not able to lift the band. Reach. Good. So I pull my shoulders down and back with every lift, and I'm keeping my core engaged the whole time. Press. Reach. Good. Nice deep breath. You got it. Strong reaches. All right, we're gonna go back to the top. All right, back to the top. So round two, starting with the plank. Walk your feet in, come forward. Here we go. Pause and then bring it back. You could do the same thing on your forearms. You got it. Nice and strong. Keep it up, keep it up. Get into those triceps. Tops of the knees. Abs are strong. Roll the shoulders down and back away from your ears. Elbows are forward. Squeeze. Make sure that you notice my hands come back below the elbows so that I have that extra little pull and then I extend it up. That allows you to go deeper into those triceps. Squeeze. Push it, good. 10 seconds here. I'm just looking at the clock. You got it. All right, 
slowly flipping over. We're gonna go into the upright row to V hold. Again, just always remind yourself to roll the shoulders down and back. And just like I said, you can adjust. You can adjust by moving further away or closer to where your band is tied. Squeeze. Nice and strong. You got it. Stick with it. Keep the abs engaged. You're leaning back far enough that you're working the core at the same time. Perfect. Nice little 10 second rest and we're going to go into the V-sit hold with the shoulder presses. Here we go. Roll the shoulders down and back. I just need to go a little closer. Good. It's the same thing that we do with the dumbbells, but we're using the band. Feeling it. We have one more round after this before we move into the last circuit. You got it. Come on, stick with it. All right, you guys. This is the final time through. So starting back with that plank. This is the last. Last time going through this second circuit. Nice deep breath. Roll the shoulders down and back. Here we go. You got it. My arms are feeling tired from all that arm work. Good. Shoulders down and back. Try not to set your hands on the floor if you're on your forearms. Try to keep the hands not clasped together. You got it. Good job. All right, we're going into those triceps. Whew. Nice deep breath. So hot in here. Feels like I'm doing a heated, heated hit. You got it. Come on guys, this is the last time through. Push it. Make it count. Feel those triceps. Can you go a little deeper into the triceps? Can you lower an inch more? And can you lift an inch higher and really squeeze at the top? Let's see, we've got 10 seconds. Squeeze, you got it. Perfect, all right. We're going into the upright row. Two Y or V. Hold, here we go. Squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach, pause, pause. Are your shoulders down and back away from your ears? Are your abs engaged? Squeeze, squeeze, good. You got it. Nice and strong. You got it, come on, come on. Perfect, all right, 
right, you guys. We have the last V-sit hold with the shoulder presses. Let's make it count. Roll the shoulders down and back. Lift the legs up. Press. Good. Whew. Every part of my body is still in this right now. There's something about bands that I feel like they're more challenging on my upper body than dumbbells. Maybe straighten the legs. Got it. Come on. Almost there. Come on, you got it. One more. Perfect. All right. 10 second rest here. I'm going to grab a sip of water. I'm sorry. One minute rest, not 10 seconds. Okay. So we're going into the final round right here. So we're going to start with a plank. I mean, a core ab core twist. And then we're going to get into some more arm stuff and um, yeah, that's it. And a little cardio move right here. All right, so we have 30 seconds. So your band is just staying right where it is. This is the final round, final circuit, and then we are done. So your band stays right where it is. And then you want to be far enough that you can straighten your arms. But again, you want that tension. You're gonna lean back here and you want your hips aligned with the band too. So you're gonna lean back and you're gonna twist and then bring it forward. Twist, bring it forward. So keeping your arms straight out in front of you the whole time. The further back you go, the harder it's gonna be. You don't wanna be sitting all the way up because then you're not gonna feel anything. So you really wanna keep your core engaged. You're bringing your arms all the way to the outside of your hip. Now you can lift the legs and make it even harder. Keep it up right here. Strong twist, good. Breathe. Perfect. Good, 10 second rest. All right, we're gonna get into the other side. So I'm gonna have to turn around here. So, arms are straight, twist, bring it back. Notice how I'm leaning back so that my core is engaged, twist, bring it back. You got it. Keep those shoulders down and back. I you know your arms, your arms should be feeling it. Good. Maybe even lift those legs. Nice and strong. Less than 10 seconds. And one, good job. All right, we're gonna go into pull-aways. So, you're gonna stand up with your band here. I'm actually gonna maybe use the lighter one, so I'm gonna take my band off. And you're gonna stand hip width apart, if you guys can see me in the screen. And you're gonna open, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then bring it in. Here we go. Squeeze, bring it in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring it to shoulder width. Keep the shoulders down and back. The more you have your hands closer together, the harder it's gonna be. The wider you have your hands, the easier it's gonna be. One more. But you 
want to make sure there's no slack on that band. All right, so I'm going to tie that band back up for this last move. And I'm going to step into the band here. Here we go. Right above my hips. Squat jumps. Sinking into my heels. Modification. You sit back and you squeeze at the top. Sit back, squeeze at the top. All right? So that's the modification. Remember, if you're modifying, you're getting low. See if you can get your butt to below knee level and then squeeze. If you're doing these and you're feeling it in your quads, watch my video on how to feel your glutes and activate your glutes and not your quads when you're doing any squat or lunge or lower body movement. I have a whole video on it. All right, guys, we're going back to the top. Round two, let's go. Nice deep breath. Let's push it. Lean back even more right here. You can either have your legs down, you can have your legs lifted. I've been filming all day, so I'm gonna keep my legs down. But I'm far back enough that my abs are, my core is engaged to the max here. So if you're not feeling it, you're either not far, you're not putting enough tension on the band and you need to scoot away from the band even more or you need to lean back even more. Maybe lift those legs 10 seconds here. Perfect. All right, guys, let's go into the other side. Nice deep breath. Two and one. Sometimes it takes kind of like moving around to really figure out where you should be seated at. Good, you got it. Perfect. Come on, you got it. 10 seconds, maybe lift those legs up. Maybe twist a little more, maybe lean back a little more. Two and one, good job. I'm gonna take that band off for these pull-aways. Here we go, nice deep breath. Good. Nice and strong. Squeeze. You got it. Make it count. Roll those shoulders down and back. Can you open those arms an inch more? 10 seconds right here. Two and one. All right, we're going into those squat jumps, so I'm just gonna tie that band back up. Two and one, here we go. Notice how every time I hop, I really press into the heels and then I sink my butt down low. My feet are a little bit wider because that's where I feel the glutes engage a little bit more. Again, watch my video on firing up the glutes, not the quads. If you are unsure of how to place your feet, if you feel like you need to engage your glutes more. You got it, heart rate is coming up. You're far enough from the band so that there's tension when you hop up. Keep it up, keep it up. Two and 
one. All right, you guys, this is it. Final round, round three. Let's go. Nice deep breath. All right. Let's push it here. This is the best round because you always just, you just know that this is it. So you can give everything you have. And earn that stretch, earn that meal. You don't have to earn a meal, but you just, it feels good to eat after a hard workout and know that you're fueling your body after getting some movement in. 10 seconds, push it out. Maybe lift those legs. Good. All right, we're getting into the other side. Here we go. Sometimes you just gotta, like I said, move around, see what works. no slack on the band. 10 seconds. Lift those feet up if you can. One more. Perfect. All right, you guys, we only have two more minutes here. Let's go into those pulleys. Then we got the squat jumps and then we're done. Here we go. Nice and strong. Come on. Can you open up an inch wider? Squeeze and pause. That band is staying right at bra level. If you notice, it's staying right at my bra level, opening up. It's not coming all the way up towards my shoulders and it's not lowering down towards my waist. One more, perfect. All right, this is it. Final round of these squats or squat jumps. Maybe I'll go even, I'm gonna go even heavier in my band. And that's when you can try things out. That's the best part about having bands at different tensions, because you can play around and see what feels challenging for you. But squeeze, whichever version you're doing here, press into the heels, sink your butt down low, thrust at the top. You wanna get that cardio in? Get that cardio in. You wanna just focus on isolation? You can slow it down. Here we go, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys. That's it. Take about 10, 15 minutes, or as long as you need to stretch. That was 30 minutes. We worked the entire body. I'm sweaty. These bands are really easy to use. Like I said, you can just tie them up to anything. I'll put a code below if you're interested in ordering them. And I hope you guys had an awesome time with this workout. You guys did amazing. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Comment if you did the workout and let me know how you feel. All right, guys, see you next time.